We promised a telescope that was 100 times more powerful than what we've had before. But not only is it working, this is better than we expected. Decollage liftoff from a tropical rainforest to the edge of time itself. James Webb begins a voyage back to the birth of the universe. The first science images that we released in July, the president rolling this out, that's a pretty big deal. The world is really into this telescope and is, is along for the ride and wants to know what the next stop on the road trip is. The mission was the, the real driver. Let's get this thing done, whatever it takes. There were issues along the way, long before I came on, and, and no one relented. When you want to do bold things, uh, there certainly would be some unprecedented risk, and you just try to minimize as much as possible. And that's what the team did. They, they did an excellent job with it. We do a lot of comparisons to Hubble, rightfully so, because the Hubble was, was the premier for 30 years. Webb is a, probably twice the size of Hubble, close to half the mass. Of course, uh, Hubble's in low Earth orbit and Webb is a million miles out. But to see the difference in clarity and the difference of what you could see and the difference in how quickly you could get the same image, it was thrilling to see those. For JBST, there's no joystick. It, it's not like anybody's, you know, point a little more to the left, a little to the right. It's more like a playlist. We have a very detailed playlist or a, a set of recipes. Every minute of the time is scripted, is in one of those recipes, and we schedule the telescope about a week at a time. On launch day, I was here. For us, the moment that was so beautiful, that first, oh my gosh, things are just gonna go well on this project, was the separation from the launch vehicle. That's when this crowd cheered. Separation Web Space Telescope. Go Web! When we got into the count, uh, normally I get praise the butterflies. And for the first time in my life, I did not. I don't know if that was just confidence in the team and, and the systems and the thrill of separation and solo race. It was uh, mind blowing. Now taking its first steps in pursuit of cosmological discovery. I got a text saying, hey, do you want to see the images? And it was the first day that we got to see the images that were gonna go public. We all crowded around the monitor and it was just gorgeous. From a science perspective, I'm like, oh my gosh, look, you're seeing you know, star formation, you're getting to see uh, star cluster formation within galaxies, I'm geeking out. But I'm also just like, oh my gosh, this is gonna show everybody that it works. I've worked with geeks my whole life and there was no better scene than to see a bunch of geeks just falling all over themselves uh, with joy. It's a new window into the history of our universe. And today we're gonna get a glimpse of the first light to shine through that window. Light from other worlds, orbiting stars far beyond our own. It's astounding to me when I read this. The president spending time to talk to us about Webb and roll this out to the world, uh, quite, quite satisfying. This is how we learn where we came from in a very real sense, how our own galaxy formed, how our own solar system and our sun and our planets formed. The exoplanet thing is, is fascinating to really look at a planet and see that it's potentially habitable or not. And lastly, I, I think we're gonna learn so many new questions that we have to go off and try to answer. We're gonna be hungry and curious for a long time as we really learn a lot.